So I'm pumping up my uh, air compressor now. And this is the Cub Cadet front axle, front end that I took off of the uh, first Cub Cadet that I got for free from Nick from Metro. I remember both of them held up, but it's been sitting back here for an, a year. That tire over there is in bad shape. This one, this one over here looks actually kind of new, but I don't know if it holds any air. You can see there's a lot of rust in between here. something kind of interesting today. It was around 8.30 or so and uh, I was just waking up and my dog was barking as usual, you know, and I could hear a, uh, I could hear a, a leaky sound right here. There we go. Something going on right there. It's the bead. The bead is all rusted, so it's not holding. Well, anyway, so at 8.30 in the morning, I was just looking at my phone, and I got a notification from uh, Jason over at Pate's Performance. He was doing a live feed. I'm like, a live feed? How about that? You know what? Tapped it. Sure enough, all the boys were there. Uh, a lot of my regulars were there. Uh, Pete Proud, Mix Mowers, uh, Doug Leap, you know, Camaro Kid, over in Altoona, Pennsylvania. Uh, this other guy, uh, I forget. And uh, Scott Keller was there. How about that, man? What the hell are you guys doing up that early? Anyway, it was uh, it was kind of fun, you know, because I, I knew all the guys that were on there, you know, pretty much. And it was fun to uh, chat with them about crap. But anyway, it's not just a bead, guys. It's over here, this dry rot area. This this needs a um, a tube. See right there? It's not just the bead, but rather it's the dry rotted area right there. It's too bad because look at the tire tread. The tire tread's really good. The tire tread's really good. So, you know what, um, just to fix this, I'm going to take this off the bead and put a tube in there. I think I have two more extra tubes for the 6-inch tires. I sure hope this comes off. It's been sitting in my yard for a long time. Of course it's not the right size. 9 sixteenths. the valve out. Take one of these valve removal tools. Take the inner valve out. Catch it, it might shoot out. Try to break the bead. Of course, Nick from Medford is texting me now, bothering me. Nick, can't you see I'm working over here? So my battery's going to run out pretty soon. Um, I spent a lot of time on that damn fence, as I said. Plus, I don't really have that much good luck on some of these beads, you know. So I'm just going to see what I'm. If I can pop this off in one shot, that would be great. So you take a small screwdriver and you jam it in here, right? Just to get it apart. It's not really working. And then you could shove this one in there. So you could just...
you step on it like this. Remember, I am 165. Got this new uh, inner tube. It's one of the last of the supplies that I got from my friends over at ProPartsDirect.net, who apparently has dropped me as a sponsor because they haven't sent me stuff in months. 13 by 6.5 by 6. Uh, my battery's running out, so I'm just gonna time lapse it until it does. So I got my battery all charged up now. As you can see, I've got this tire on here and uh, it works just